Something that many people don't know is that we have reconstructed a large part of the Earth's history from fossils alone. Eight incredible animal fossils tell the crazy story of a planet that produced incredible giganticism, bloodthirsty monsters, cute sea creatures, and insects that could survive for millions of years. It is only thanks to the fossilized bones that we now know that these fascinating and terrifying creatures existed before us. A monster in Norway? Can you imagine that a giant pleosaur once roamed where it is now more wintry even in summer? The Monster of Spitsbergen is a particularly fascinating chapter in the history of paleontology and shows the incredible diversity of prehistoric marine life. The relics of this gigantic animal were found on the remote island of Spitsbergen in the Svalbard archipelago. Here, in the very north of Europe, researchers found a veritable graveyard for ancient animals. The most impressive of all the fossils, however, remains the pleosaur, which was up to 15 meters long and lived there around 150 million years ago. With its impressive physique, dinner plate sized vertebrae, and razor sharp teeth that grew to the size of an average cucumber, this animal was a dominant marine predator of its time. What was once the terror of prehistoric seas is now almost affectionately called a monster by scientists. The rarity and state of preservation of the fossil makes it an invaluable find for science. Complete fossils of pleosaurs are extremely rare and this find truly sheds light on the size that these prehistoric predators could reach. Another monster, the largest turtle in the world. Bet you didn't know that there were turtles that grew as big as humans. In fact, these creatures are among the lesser known prehistoric giant animals. The creature called Carbonemius confrini is also known to scientists as the coal turtle. The first fossil of this species was found in a coal mine in Colombia in 2005. Around 60 million years ago, these little animals populated large parts of South America and were therefore one of the dominant species after the great extinction of the dinosaurs. It never ceases to amaze that even after the disappearance of the largest creatures the planet has ever produced, the Earth was still prone to giganticism. The coal turtle grew to about 1.72 meters long and had a skull that was almost 30 centimeters wide. Its powerful jaws and strong bite indicated that it fed on a variety of prey, including smaller turtles and possibly even crocodiles. Carbonimus confrini was not only large, but also a fearsome predator. These gigantic sizes leave us in awe and naturally raise questions about the environmental conditions that allowed this growth. Will Jurassic Park now come true? It sounds like a miracle, but we may soon have dinosaur DNA extracted from a mosquito. What is pure fiction in the movie Jurassic Park could soon become reality. The discovery of a fossil mosquito with blood in its abdomen caused a media frenzy in 2013. This fossil, which is around 46 million years old, was truly surprising. As it was previously thought that genetic material and soft tissue could not be preserved over such long periods of time. Examination of the fossil under an electron microscope and a mass spectrometer confirmed the presence of iron and porphyrin molecules, and these are clear indicators of blood. This scientific miracle was found in Northwest Montana. But does this find really open up new perspectives on the understanding of prehistoric life? Among experts, the insect with its ancient meal in its stomach has triggered a heated debate. Many geneticists believe it is unlikely that genetic material for reconstructing long extinct species can actually be obtained from this blood. But as the find itself proves, scientists also thought the survival of information for such a long time was impossible until this insect emerged. Impossible does not exist, and we remember, life finds a way. The oldest genetic material in the world? The idea of creating new living beings from old cell tissue that has actually been dead for millions of years sounds bizarre and yet tempting. This discovery also gives food for thought in this direction. These hematite tubes were found in very old layers of rock in northern Quebec and Canada. These tiny structures are made of an iron oxide called hematite, and this rock may contain the oldest known traces of life on our planet. 
With an estimated age of more than 3.77 billion years, or possibly even more than 4 billion years, these structures date back far beyond the era of the dinosaurs to the era of the world when only the simplest creatures existed. These microscopic tubes and filaments, discovered in thin layers of rock, closely resemble the structures still formed by bacteria near hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor. Their discovery sheds new light on the hypothesis that life on Earth may have evolved in such extreme environments. In any case, the discovery proves that life began at a time when the Earth was still a rather inhospitable place. This allows us to look at the search for traces of life on other planets or moons in the solar system from a completely different perspective. The existence of such early life forms at a time when the Earth was still young suggests that life could exist in similar environments on other worlds, perhaps even on planets in our own solar system. The hematite tubes thus became a symbol of the birth of life and the incredible adaptability and richness that ultimately led to this world being colonized by us today. Finally Proven – A Snake With Legs it may surprise you to learn that snakes evolved from four-legged land creatures first to aquatic animals and then back to land animals. Scientists have only recently become aware of this evolution, in fact, since the fossil of a four-legged snake was discovered. This important find turned up in 2015 in the collections of a private fossil collector. A paleontologist who had seen the extraordinary collection recognized the evolutionary significance of the find. By examining the fossil, the evolutionary history of the snakes could finally be clarified. The fossil shows a snake-like creature with a long, slender body and a short tail, very similar to today's snakes, but with one crucial difference – it has small limbs. This discovery proves that the ancestors of modern snakes originally had legs and that these have regressed in the course of evolution. This supports the theory that snakes evolved from lizard-like ancestors that lost their limbs over time to better adapt to life underground or in confined spaces. Unfortunately, no precise information is known about the original location of the unusual fossil. This uncertainty makes it difficult to determine the exact origin and age of the snake, although some experts have dated the rock with a fair degree of certainty to the Cretaceous period, around 66 to 145 million years ago. This makes this artifact not only the missing piece of the snake evolution puzzle, but also the oldest known snake fossil on Earth. Bigger, bigger, Titanoboa We know the Tyrannosaurus rex, the Megalodon, and other prehistoric giants. The largest known snake in the history of the Earth is still quite new in this count. Discovered in a Colombian coal mine in 2009, the Titanoboa corahonius like the giant tortoise, lived around 60 million years ago in the era shortly after the extinction of the dinosaurs. The Titanoboa was a true giant among snakes, with an estimated length of up to 12.8 meters and a weight of over 1,100 kilograms, it was an impressive reptile and a predator that was best avoided. The Titanoboa was probably a constrictor, similar to today's anacondas, and spent most of its time in the water, which helped to support its massive weight. These giants moved more elegantly and efficiently in the water than on land, suggesting that this monster snake hunted in the water or in the Ripian areas. Anything it could grab was taken in a stranglehold and then eaten in one piece. If we could consider the generally very large growth forms of this era, the queen of snakes also had to develop a certain size in order to be able to eat the equally impressive food source. At the same time as the Titanoboa and the gigantic turtles, Creatures such as giant crocodiles, large fish, and cabaras also inhabited the South American continent. The Deadliest Teeth of All It is a legend among the giants of prehistoric times. The Megalodon was the largest shark that ever roamed the seas of this world, and it was definitely one of the most dangerous and deadliest creatures that ever existed. All that remains of these animals are their teeth. Sharks have no bones like mammals, and their soft tissue and cartilage decompose completely over time. The teeth, however, are found surprisingly often, which suggests that there were many of these extreme predators in the prehistoric oceans. Megalodon means big tooth, in keeping with the only traces left by this giant. 
The shark, which dominated the prehistoric seas around 23 to 3.6 million years ago, was usually 20 meters long and moved through the oceans just as smoothly as its modern ancestors. A single megalodon could form up to 40,000 teeth in the course of its life, which regularly fell out and were replaced by new ones. The size of these teeth is impressive. Some are as big as the palm of your hand, and they reveal the enormous biting power of this prehistoric shark. With its teeth, this monster was able to devour other creatures such as aquatic dinosaurs, fish, or even large reptiles with just a few bites. The enormous predator probably even cracked hard turtle shells with a single bite. The size and shape of the teeth indicate that the megalodon could even kill large marine mammals such as whales. The fascination for the megalodon is unbroken and, astonishingly, dozens of eyewitnesses claim to have seen this shark alive every year. So far, there is no proof. The horrified people only report gigantic sharks up to 20 meters long that suddenly appear near ships or coasts. This thing lived 200 million years ago. Can you imagine the world 200 million years ago? We would be somewhere between the late Triassic and the early Jurassic. The Earth experienced a time of great change in which both geography and biodiversity underwent profound development. The epoch was characterized by the gradual splitting of the supercontinent Pangaea into smaller land masses, creating a multitude of new habitats. These geological changes also influenced the climate and the ocean currents, which in turn drove the evolution and spread of life on Earth. Around this time, dinosaurs dominated the land, while the oceans were inhabited by a rich variety of marine reptiles, fish, and especially ammonites. This ammonite, which a nine-year-old boy found on the beach in Wales in 2023, was also floating in the then still tropically warm water at this distant time. Ammonites were among the first larger complex creatures in the oceans and are the ancestors of modern squids, octopuses, and nautilids. The imprint of the ammonite survived hundreds of millions of years in the rock and nobody noticed it until little Eli came along with his father. The two were looking for fossils and the 30 centimeter wide and almost perfectly preserved find turned out to be a real stroke of luck.